This morning now, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors set to consider developing an app that would connect homeless people with a safe place to sleep. We had the chance to sit down with the district attorney, right. talk a little bit about this and the plan to really help our homeless here. CBS 8's Chris Crow, live outside the county administration building. All the details, including how this is going to cost, what this is going to cost. This is all about connectivity, right? Getting them connected to the right place that can help them. And again, the idea here is that this is something that A, hasn't been done before, and B, really should be as easy as just using your phone, connecting people to available shelter beds. Now, of course, one of the big issues here is whether or not there will be available shelter beds, but while that's working on, being worked out, they are trying to make sure that this can be a possibility. We need to be able to build trust and offer hope. This app will help with that. It will provide a tangible tool that all the service providers can use and know what's available and get people connected. And so the idea here again is that with the touch of their phone, social workers, first responders and homeless advocates can gather information there from those who are unhoused and help to find a shelter that matches them, fits their needs in real time, whether or not they potentially have family members, if they have a dog or just based on their demographics, what it is that they need. This, of course, would be something that's first of its kind, this type of network. Eventually, they do want to look at expanding to kiosks as well. Now, there's already an app like this for domestic violence and human trafficking victims. It's called the Safe Shelter Collaborative, and that was actually started by the DA, Summer Stefan and her team. This is supposed to be an extension of that with a focus for those that are living on the streets. But it, it was during this media briefing that we actually heard a little bit of public frustration. There was a gentleman who actually, uh, again, started interrupting the media conference, asking questions about a, a variety of other different topics, but all related to homelessness. He says he's been waiting for 14 years for Section 8 housing. And we wanted to speak with him again to kind of put things in perspective that, yes, an app like this w w will likely be serviceable, but there are still a lot of people that are frustrated, that are still behind in terms of the paperwork as well as the bureaucracy that surrounds this issue. For all the programs, uh, looking specifically for Section 8 and others that are, I thought that I, it, it won't take longer, but 14 years, and now she comes with technology. Technology, technology is not going to do any good because the real problem that we have in here is real. And again, the gentleman said that he thinks the app is, is a good idea. He doesn't disagree with it. He just is simply frustrated by how long it takes sometimes to access services, especially like Section 8 housing for him and his family. Now, for more on this app, its rollout and potentially how long we could be seeing. We're hearing somewhere around six months before we actually see it up and running. You can go to CBS8.com and click on that story link. Reporting from downtown San Diego, I'm Chris Grow for CBS 8.